Kalimoto is the app I'm using. I just wanted a random route. I chose the start point, uh, which was Brighton. I wanted to end up in New Forest, but then I chose it to be a twisties path. And it's navigated this entire route. So this is an interesting tour. It's sort of a really strange route that it's taking me. It's a lot better than just sitting on the motorway for 20 minutes. Man, when I said twisties, it, it gave me twisties and then some. Okay, the last time I did something like this, I ended up hitting dirt and eating it. So I'm gonna take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> if I see a sign that literally says your GPS is lying to you, turn back now, I'm going to listen to it this time. Ooh. I'm nowhere near New Forest and this is already feeling exactly the kind of vibe that I wanted. Oh, Nip. Oh, I love Nip. Nip is a beautiful place. There's, there's a lot of people just walking on the road. Good way to spend the day, that's for sure. You know, at some point I really need to stop and do some b-roll, but I'm just having way too much fun. Yeah, I need fuel. See, the interesting thing is, I thought if I wanted to get views and like interesting roads and just exploring in general, I'd have to go outside of the UK. You know, I'd have to go to France, I'd have to go to Germany. There is so much beauty in our backyards. Okay, I need to pull over and figure out this, uh, this whole thing. <laughs> this and then that and it will route you to the nearest petrol station i love that so just pulled over for a little bit because i need to change the batteries i think there's one percent battery on this thing it's been a fun ride so far by the way if you're wondering why i'm like holding the camera kind of weird it's because it's on my helmet and i can't be bothered to take it off so i'm literally holding the helmet which is kind of weird because it's really heavy i need to get fuel I need to eat something because I am very hungry. Kind of loving this Kalimoto app, it's kind of amazing. See you in a minute, okay? Bye! Picked up a sandwich, so I'm gonna eat that somewhere along the way. Oh yeah, the bike's feeling a lot better. In total, 15 quid. Oh, that was my phone. <sighs> Quad luck, come on guys. Lucky I was going slow. I'm not gonna let that get me down. All right, what way am I going? This way? I'll give them this. They've been a good mount for my phone. I've never had any issues with it. That's the first time that's ever came out like that. Totally admit if it was my fault, it's my fault, and I will, you know, just deal with the fact that I made a mistake there. But uh, honestly, I'm pretty sure that that was secure. I, I pushed it in, I did the lock, I did the twist, and beforehand I even twisted it around to make sure it was locked. Anyway, that's the last time I'm gonna mention it. I'm just gonna enjoy the ride now. Danger zone! Oh, danger zone with the train. I can't cross that. Ah, no! Oh, the reason I'm doing sort of a longer distance test as well is I want to see how this chair holds up. I've been told that the longer you ride with it, the more uncomfortable it becomes. A little less comfortable than it was when I first started. Uh, definitely starting to get a little bit of a backache, but that's probably due to my posture, less than the chair. Uh, we'll see how that goes and progresses. Oh, national speed limit on turns like this. Ooh, I'll be in that pond. <laughs> Bike sounds amazing though when it goes up and down the gears like that. Definitely becoming a lot more confident with like leaning into the turns with this thing. Um, I was a little concerned of the weight of it, but this thing handles like a dream. So my frame of reference is a very light 125, so uh, you know, your mileage may vary. <laughs> okay, this was this was really fun. <laughs> that was a stupid fun road. How's your day going? Well, yeah, I've just been uh, accelerating and decelerating around twisty corners for two and a half hours now. Is that a house in the middle of a roundabout? That must really be a pain if you're trying to get home. You have to cross the main road <laughs> to get into your front door every night. Yeah, it's just it's straight up in the middle of the road. Though. So this is why I need to get new gloves. You see this uh, patch here? It's, it's just starting to... Uh, rub away these were relatively cheap gloves though so i need to get myself some proper gloves is it just me or is kia's new logo kind of hard to read uh, even if i wanted to overtake all this mess i literally couldn't fit through that that's there's no space either side this is why you don't go through towns i really do love how shiny <laughs> this is <laughs> mirror finish love it probably need some uh, grip pads on the side here 
you know, just make life a little easier on my legs. I managed to make it all the way to Waverley, I think about halfway now. I've got, I'd say another three, I think about two and a half hours before I'm actually in New Forest. And from there, it's gonna be riding around for a bit, grabbing some food and then heading back. So I should be home by like seven o'clock tonight, I think. Uh, this is the bike setup as it currently is. Uh, got my lovely Yeti bottle down there. Got my helmet, got my sandwich that I'm about to eat. Um, this bike has been amazing to ride. I've enjoyed every twist and turn on it. But yeah, driving twisties for two and a half hours definitely takes a toll. See you in a bit after I've eaten my sandwich. I'm not used to filming in public, so I'm literally pulling my phone out and I'm conscious that there's people in the bar across from me looking straight at me as I'm filming this. And I, I've got to get over it, so, ah, who cares? I'll do it anyway. Look at these cute little ducks. Sorry guys, I've got to go. Oh god, they're so cute. Let's get back on this beast. So, onwards to the next spot, which is about an hour and a half's drive, I would think we're going to stop in at a place that I've been meaning to visit but uh, I've never had the opportunity so I'm just going to pass on by make a quick pit stop before we head on down to New Forest so I will see you all in a bit Okay, so I'm about almost four hours into this drive so far. Uh, the seat, it's still kind of comfortable. I think anything sitting down for this long, I think most things at this point would start to feel a bit uncomfortable. Countryside is really, really lovely up here. Lots of very old English towns, very beautiful houses. Can't even begin to imagine what some of these are worth. The weather is looking like it's threatening to rain, so I hope it doesn't. Oh, hey, giant tractor taking up most of the road. Jesus. Oh. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull over for a minute, stretch my legs once we get into a nice safe bit. Stretch my legs, check the batteries and everything. Just need a little, little rest of the legs, you know, so I can give this my full energy. It is ridiculously beautiful up here, though. Not very often you get to do huge, huge trips. I mean, this isn't even that huge, it's just, what, 200 miles. So, been fun so far. This bike is really holding up the way I need it to, so that's great. That went pretty comfortable as well. I had to modify it a little bit, because it was uh, pushing a bit too much on my jawbone and uh, starting to ache. Look at this place, though. Beautiful views. That rain cloud is the direction I'm going, so kind of hope it doesn't come down. But we'll see, we'll see. I am getting a little tired, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I've been riding for like four hours, I think I have another uh, three, four, five hours maybe. But about halfway there. I've hit the northern parts now, and now I have to get to the southern bits, which is the forest. From New Forest, it's relatively straightforward to get back, but it's more of a up to my discretion if I take the side roads or not. Definitely been a lot of side roads. I've done I've done nothing but twisties the entire way following the uh, the map. Not seen a single main road. I've not been on any A roads. Uh, so I think I've done a hundred and something miles now just on side roads and twisties. So it's fun. I'm enjoying myself. See you in a bit. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow! Wow! What? You can't tease me with a view like that. Come on, what was that? Let me see that view again. Look at that. This is in our backyard. Like, I, I need to explore Britain more. I need to explore the UK in general. I've, I've not seen anywhere near as much as I should have. I've traveled all over the world, but I've never, I didn't explore the backyard. 
<laughs> okay. So Kalimoto seems to have this thing where people can post photos of different places and this is one of the little picture spots popping up. I think it's I think it's like right there. Ah, cute. What? 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 That's a huge bridge just hidden there. What? Ooh. I love that. People letting me buy. <laughs> that head nod. That head nod is universal. Every single biker I know knows that head nod. I'm very close to where I'm going. I'm in Kingsworthy. So, can you guess where I'm going? Going to Winchester. Right? You know what Winchester is? It's the end of the South Downs Way. So that is a path that I want to finish. It goes from Eastbourne to Winchester. I got two days into the hike and uh, I got stopped by torrential rain last time. So I think sometime either this year or next I'm going to do that. And that's going to be one epic journey. Probably eight, nine days. Probably longer because I am not as <laughs> I'm not as in shape as I was when I first did that route. But uh, that's going to be one hell of a journey. So we're going to pop by. We're going to see some places. Very briefly see some houses, maybe if there's anything around I can see. And then we're going to make our way down to the New Forest, which is honestly quite a journey. Like I've <laughs> went quite a way out of my way to do this. But uh, I figured, why not? I might as well. I'm over this way. Uh, it's only, I don't know how many miles it is, it's only a certain distance away from it, so it would be good to visit and see what happens. So the fun thing about doing all the uh, twisties is it takes you routes that you wouldn't normally go. I haven't been onto an A road yet. And uh, I have, I've just been pottering around all the side streets and just enjoying the absolute madness that that is plus uh, enjoying some views. I mean, it's it's crazy. There's like beautiful things absolutely everywhere. Look, is that Winchester on the left? Well, the map's telling me to go around it, but uh, yeah, this is my ride, so I'm going left. It's a 50. Hey, look, think bike, think biker. Oh, wow. Okay, that's what I was after. Right, let's go right. What is down this way? I don't know. <laughs> I don't really care. Let's find out. Whee! Wow, look at these trees. Overhanging building. I mean, kind of. Five Bridges Road. Not what I wanted. Don't like me some gravel. Don't like me no gravel yet. Gravel is a new one for me. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Okay. This is why I use the sat map. Dead end. It's a dead end. That's fine. I can make do. Just doing my Austin Powers thousand point turn. So, 44 minutes. 44 minutes of basically normal roads. I'm going to do that and I'll see you in New Forest. So uh, I think I'm basically in New Forest now. It's like it's threatening to rain, so I don't know exactly what's going to happen there. I will catch you in a moment when we finally pull into our final destination and then start the long journey back. This place really is beautiful. Really, really is beautiful. See if I can find a little nook to pull into. Let's go in here, shall we? Gravel on the rebel. <laughs> My favorite potholes. Okay, so this 100% counts. <laughs> this counts. I'm in New Forest. I am in New Forest. Um, this bike has handled this trip amazingly. This has been really fun, not a single problem been a joy the entire way it even handled off-roading off-roading so yeah thank you for watching so far um i probably cut to a bit of me eating something in a tesco's now 